Okay, everyone, hope you're all doing well. I wanted to make a quick video about funding rates. We're at a point in the markets right now where uh, it's kind of seemed as though a lot of the sentiment has turned uh, a bit bearish, and obviously that's been confirmed with a lot of sentiment metrics. Some assets out there are seeing a lot more bearishness than others, of course. So we're going to kind of use one of Santiment's older models. Uh, I made this a couple of years ago. Um, I, I might actually refine this some point in the future, but it does the job pretty well now um, to kind of identify which assets are seeing major longs represented by this red bar here or major shorts represented by this short bar here. The red bar here would be Binance coin and uh, the short bar here is Kusama. But there are plenty of other less extreme examples that are still very important to keep an eye on. Just to give a quick overview on what funding rates do, uh, a big long bar like this would indicate that there is a significantly higher amount of people betting in favor of the price going up, opening longs. Uh, and something like this would be people betting uh, against the price, hoping prices go down to profit off of that. Now, when prices move the opposite direction of these big anomalous funding rates, that's when you have something like a long squeeze here or a short squeeze, something, especially on the short squeeze side, you may have heard of before. There was even a big movie made about it, uh, about the stock markets and, and the housing markets in particular back in the 08 housing crash, for those who remember that. So what happens when these longs or shorts get squeezed? Well, when there's a lot of people betting in favor of a coin going up and all of a sudden the coin goes down, those longs get liquidated and the liquidations cause the price to move down much further with all of that uh, outstanding money being absorbed. The opposite is true here. If you see a bunch of shorts get liquidated, that adds to prices moving, uh, the likelihood of prices moving back up with the, that excess money flooding back in and causing extra market value. It might be temporary sometimes, or it might cause a, a big domino effect, uh, allowing people to FOMO in and push prices up further, or whales kind of give it a boost. Uh, whales are the ones targeting these, these big excessive funding rates oftentimes, and you'll see them push prices the opposite direction anytime there's an extreme funding rate, and the liquidations happen, and the whales get their way and move the prices easily the way they want them to. So what we're looking at on this model is basically trying to find which coins out there are seeing big, big anomalies. Uh, as I mentioned, Binance coin is the one getting the most excessive longs at the moment. Um, but we also saw recently, if we move over to Sandbase here, Bitcoin is getting a high amount of shorts. I'm gonna move it into just the past week. You can see all these red bars here. I'll make the price a little bit more granular here. So these red bars indicate there's more shorting than there is longing. And you can see they kind of started to short right as prices were bouncing a tiny bit and the crowd didn't believe it, or at least the people who put their money where their mouth is. And so they shorted here, very minor drop down, and then we see a little bit of a rise, a little bit of a drop. These are very tight ranges. We're down here at about 53.7K. And ever since that time, lots of shorting going on, despite the fact, if I hold down shift here and move to the right, it ended up going, price ended up going up about 7.2% during this time. And it's dropped down just a tiny bit ever since. But notice how the shorts are still very much here. This is Binance and this is BitMEX down here. They're both seeing a lot of red compared to green right now. So that's kind of indicating the bearish sentiment is very real. People are putting very real money at stake with the expectation that Bitcoin will continue to drop. Maybe a lot of people are targeting that 50K range that we saw back on August 4th and 5th during that much bigger, sharper drop that happened. Uh, but regardless, these shorts indicate that if there is a liquidation, if there's you know, more of this rise going on, these shorts not only will get liquidated, but they'll allow prices to rise up a little bit quicker than it would normally um, on, a, on an equal basis. So 
look for these kinds of signals as a sign that longing something like Bitcoin would actually be a contrarian strategy based on the funding rate trajectories that are going on right now. Uh, a few other examples based on this model, notice Tezos, I know they're all being dwarfed by this, this Kusama uh, funding rate here, but notice that Tezos is in the green as well, negative 0.018. So I opened up this chart here, and yeah, sure enough, on Binance, quite a bit of red here. You'll notice the previous times that we've seen people try to short Tezos on a much more extreme basis than we are now, but nevertheless, look at how precisely the bottom hit during this short, or this short, or even this short. This one eh, didn't work out quite as well, but nothing at Santiment is a, a perfect top or bottom signal. What you want to do is combine funding rate analysis with something like weighted sentiment or MVRV or whale transactions or key stakeholder accumulation or dumping, stuff like that. But even on the other side of the spectrum, Tezos is a great example of what happens when there's excessive longs. Look what happened right when all of these green bars were going on, representing there were more longs than shorts, big collapse right after. This one, as the markets were right near that top on March 12th, you see March 10th and March 11th, huge big green bars, and all of a sudden, big price collapse, which of course, the entire crypto market did this, but Tezos was not alone in these huge long versus short bars that were going on at this time. So great examples there. Compound is one more that's showing a lot of shorting. Um, in case you're interested in being a true contrarian, there are a ton more examples. Uh, and this funding rate model is only showing roughly, I think, 40-ish assets. And of course, there's, there's uh, something like 50 times the amount of coins that actually have funding rate data on them. These are just some of the majors out there. Um, but Compound, same thing, lots of shorting. Right at the bottom, look at how much shorting was going on back on August 4th or even July 28th or July 5th. And all of these uh, moments are in common where they were at local bottoms and prices rose at least temporarily right after these short bars hit until the short bars went away. And then, you know, they can kind of do their own thing a little bit. But this was a great example of a, a great time to buy. Um, and so just keep that in mind, especially if these short bars start to get really down here again. Uh, history is, is your friend and you can measure these patterns compared to the recent past and find a lot of great signals that the rest of the markets and the traders out there who are just looking at TA probably are not seeing. That's all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. P.S. Let me know what you think about the camera quality and this new mic quality. I just got this new setup. Very happy with it. This is my first test through. Uh, be honest. Tell me if, if the bass is too low, too high, whatever. Um, I'm here to make it perfect. And we want to make sure the quality is as pristine as possible. Thanks all for watching. Talk to you soon.